O M G. <laughs> we are live. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Tarikwa, but I'm also known as Tech Tai, and I thank you so very much for being here today. Um, my lovely, handsome guests to the left or the right, depending on where you are <laughs> signing up from this evening, is the homie Credit Car. Oh my goodness, Career Karma's own Rebel. Hello, <laughs> my guy. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. It's so good to see you and know that you are well. So um, this evening, we're getting into part one of our three-part series in community, talking about community. Now, that's a buzzword that a lot of people are regularly talking about. And we are going to have a conversation based around what community is and its importance specific to the the group of people that are upskilling and reskilling, especially those people that are doing boot camps, trying to reskill and upskill and transform their lives. So before we go any further, is there anything that you want to say? Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Rebel, the floor is yours. Yes, yes. Um, well, my name is Rebel. Nice to meet y'all, kind of virtually. Um, super excited to have this conversation with you. And I have the pleasure of working at Career Karma. Always happens that people say Credit Karma. Um, you know what I'm saying? We can't help y'all with your credit, but we can help you with your career, which should improve your credit. It's all good. It's okay. We can one day work in conjunction. Call me Credit Karma. Uh, <laughs> but I think that, uh, nah, man, I'm just, I'm someone who has been blessed with community and community has shaped my whole life knowingly or unknowingly, and it's given me every single opportunity that I genuinely have. So for that reason, I'm just happy to be working in this space and happy to be in a space where, man, I get to help people come together, but not just come together, like come together with who they really are. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. excited to jump off in that. Thank you so much. And to allow me to reintroduce myself, my name is Hope. Oh, it's not, sorry, it's not Hope. <laughs> sorry, the rapper in me, Brooklyn, jumped out. <laughs> So once again, my name is Tarakwa, but I go by Thai or Tech Thai, and I have had a career that has spanned 20 years now, and it has been quite a wild ride. I've been in tech for five plus years and really enjoyed this space and watched it change. Right now, I am someone who is a three-time bootcamp participant. The first time I did a tech bootcamp was in 2015. I learned about this program in my neighborhood or in New York, where I'm from, born, raised, and based Brooklyn. I, I couldn't help myself. This is just what we do. <laughs> and um, I applied for a tech bootcamp to reskill and learn about um, software development, full stack, even though I had been a um, software engineering minor in college years before. I'm not going to tell you how many years. It's irrelevant. But I applied, got all the way to the end, and I was like, yeah, I got this. Didn't get it. Well, well, but it was okay. <laughs> that's life. That's life. I don't know if any of y'all remember where you were in 2015, but that's life. So two years later, Rebo, I went ahead and I reapplied for the program. And I got in and I was really excited. I was like, Ugh, go get it, go get it. I got it. And I started um, the program where I was focused on Android engineering. So I was creating apps and it was wonderful. So that was my first experience in a tech boot camp to reskill and upskill into a new profession. And then last year, I did a tech sales boot camp after our world kind of fell apart. And everyone was devastated in their own way, personally, professionally, and collectively as a whole by the disruption of COVID. I decided that I wanted to be in tech sales. I'd wanted to be in sales since 2017, 2018. And I was like, this is a time. If not now, then when? So I did a tech sales boot camp. And for those of you tuning in, if you've done a boot camp, please go ahead and put it in the chat and let me know what boot camp you've done. Right. So I did that and I was thinking afterward, like, how is it you move forward after you finish a boot camp? Like you're in a new career, you're in a new profession, you're doing what you're doing. But I want to talk about how we can really create community and uplift the community of people that are doing tech boot camps, transforming their lives personally and professionally. So I'm done talking. And I'd like to <laughs> yap in, and I'd like to talk about that, Rebel. So at Career Karma, I got it. 
I don't know yeah. Mr. Craig, yeah. but at Career Karma, how is it that y'all foster community? Oh, and shout out to everyone that's putting SV Academy for Tech Sales and Customer Success in the chat. Thank you. Good to see y'all. So how do y'all foster community at Career Karma? Whoo! I mean, there's <laughs> there's a lot of um there's there's a lot of different ways that we're fostering community right now and a lot of ways that we're gonna be growing to foster it in this okay. upcoming year. But I'm Pardon not gonna get to that. We Pardon me. I just realized for those of you that don't know, what is career karma? First yeah. and foremost. That's a good place to start. Um so <laughs> career karma um is a place where honestly you come to to reskill, right? So it's a place to go if you're looking and you're trying to figure out where do I go in tech or how do I advance my career in tech, right? Like there are people who come to us who are already within tech who are trying to reskill and people who are trying to upskill and especially throughout the pandemic, which was like, it was a really rough time for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was tragic, but I think the roles that came out of the concrete was essentially the ability of like, I know you picked that up, the ability for us to, you feel me, like realize how limitless our opportunities are online. Absolutely and how the lives we were living aren't the lives we have to continue. And so I think like, and just to touch on community, I'm in the Bay Area, right? So like, hey. yo, you feel me? Like, and I was born in San Francisco. I'm really from out here. You know what I mean? Like my, we out here, you know, so we in the soil, but something about my, um, so I'll get into community a little more, but something, the crazy thing about talking about, about being community and the beauty of life, like coming to CK, especially during the time of COVID and shout out to all the SV Academy people. I see y'all. Um, I think the beauty is when I'm in the Bay Area, the coffee shop I go to, it's my, my favorite coffee shop, right? Like shout out to them. Shout out to <laughs> Golden Goat. I got to give them a shout out. You know what I'm saying? That's Absolutely. Um, but the crazy thing is like, I've gone there and just waiting in line. I've met CEOs of companies that have like, been sold or like i've met people that are like c-suite positions in like legit public companies i met venture capital people talking about different things they're investing in like i remember one time i walked to the coffee shop and i'll go so early i help them like set up young <laughs> boy pulls up in the lambo i'm like the lambo? like what and he's talking about like different coffee shops he like in like paris and like london you know and i'm all like mercy you feel <laughs> me so i got that you know golden goat they got that good coffee um but the thing is, in San Francisco, you understand how like how close you are to everything. Proximity is Proximity important. It's super important. And it's a community. Even though I'm on the outside of the community, it allowed me to realize like, oh, I can achieve this because you're not something online. You're not me watching Elon Musk. I can't relate to you, Bo. Like, but you're somebody that like I see living and breathing. Right. Mm -hmm. When I was the first the first time I learned about tech, talking about community, my family owns a restaurant in San Francisco. Had it for the past 20 years. Shout, Shout out, them out, please. Shout out to the family's restaurant, New Eritrean restaurant, right? New Eritrean, you know, from Irving 10th and 11th. We've been out there. You know what I mean? Hey. That's what came up. You know, and, and sadly, I'm not going to lie. So I, we talked about this, T, like, I think, like, tech sales is the move, right? So when I saw SV Academy pop up, Absolutely. I was hot because I was all like, man, if y'all was around back when I was trying to get into tech, like, this would have been the way to go. Focus. We'll get there. I'll focus. I'll focus. <laughs> anyway, sorry. There. You're right. You're right. But the thing for me is, um, like, the cool thing is, when I was sitting in a family's restaurant and I was working there talking about community, I saw a young bull who would, like, buy my, buy my uncle. Like, him and my uncle were super close. Customer, mm -hmm. he would leave, like, a $200 tip on a to-go order. He would bring birthday presents. And I was like, I literally asked him, I said, bro, what do you do? Right? And it was a black French guy. Because that always threw me off. When I see people with different accents, I'm like, oh, what? Like, so dude was all like, I work at Salesforce. And I was all like, I don't know what Salesforce is. But that's the place to work. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? When I was a young and I was like, that's the move. And so, again, it's community and proximity that even allows you to be like, oh, I could do something. I could do this. Right. That's and sustainable. Was, and it, it, is, it is closer than you think it is. And I'm, I'm happy that you gave us a story like that, because I think still so many people think that a transition into the tech world or the tech industry or starting a career there, whether you're a career newbie, a seasoned professional or a career changer, you too can move into any field you want to. And COVID has showed us if not now, then when, and we're still very much in a pandemic. Let's not get that twisted. Your girl Come is on. inside, Come inside. On. I need to go out today, but it's not about me. But um, right now, not everyone knows that Career Karma is a great website and an app 
where you can go and look at different boot camp options. Mm -hmm. So they have tons of information. And also, besides just information, they have reviews. They You can do comparisons on what type of boot camps that you're interested in. Cybersecurity, software sales, um, software engineering. Like, if you can think of it and you want to do it, you can find it on Career Karma. And I'm really happy that now there is a place where you can do a comparison. You can shop for a program that will allow you to, and I keep saying this, but transform your life personally and professionally. So how is Career Karma doing that for the, I've seen over 200,000 unique members on Career Karma. I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah. So how That's is it point. that, you know, y'all are able to do this for members and people that are interested in transforming their lives? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the, the way that we're able to do it is we're, we're a community first platform, right? Like mm -hmm. we're here for the people and we're built by people who also had to break in, right? Our founders mm -hmm. had to break into tech. I had to break into tech. We took these long journeys. And the biggest thing that I was missing that they realized that helped them take it to the next level is having a community of people around you. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, you can come to us and like learn about the boot camps, learn about how to get your skills. But not just that. When you come to us, like we got discussion boards. We have squads that people can join. We have yeah. live rooms, which to me, a live room is legit. Like, oh, it's like the coffee shop, but anywhere because you can't fly to SF and meet the people that I meet. But you can hop on a CK live event. You know what I'm saying? I can't fly to Brooklyn and like link up with you, but we was live on a CK live event. You feel I could fly last week. <laughs> I just might, but still. But I think like last week we was on a CK live event, and now mm -hmm. I'm in the comfort of my home, safe, not wasting a dollar. But I'm connecting with people all around America. You know what I'm saying? Getting brand new opportunities. We see people in here talking about like, yo, I want to teach a tech tech academy X, Y, and Z. But it's like what we're doing at CK is we're bringing people together, and through bringing people together, that naturally creates opportunity. Because it's not only are we bringing people in tech, but we're bringing people who want to do two things, help others or get helped by others simultaneously. So I saw a young bull who was a, this was the dopest thing. I loved it. He is a software engineer at Amazon for something super specific. And he's like, hey, willing to help anyone who's thinking about going to a boot camp, tell me what you want to do. And I'll tell you the programming languages that are going to be helpful for you and how you can go about like Absolutely. getting that and what boot camps. Like those are the discussions we're having on Career Karma. Not just that, we have people, we have a squad from someone who literally was like, came out the military, have no experience, went to a boot camp, and is now a hiring manager for software engineers. And he has his own squad of how to get interviews and how to get through interviews. Mm -hmm. Like, what? This is just free game that's out there. Like, Absolutely. I had to hustle to find this. <laughs> I had to, because this wasn't around when I was building, like, when I was trying to get into tech, right? They were just yeah. thinking about this concept. And so, being now and having this ability to build community like this is powerful so how do we do it squads uh discussions and ck live events just to name a couple that i think are some of the most powerful and that's not just for people who are trying to get into the boot camp trying to get into tech but it's people who are in the boot camp like there are people who study together who like yeah. give advice to one another there are people who are do mock interviews our founders hop on there and we'll help people like okay yo look you got interviews popping like coming up like let me help you with this. let me walk you through that and so it's like, yeah, how we how we do is like we just built a platform where people can connect not only with information, but with one another. And when you do that, we're stronger together than apart. So absolutely. And if this almost two full years in a pandemic hasn't shown people that, then I don't know what would. And I have been on Career Karma for a bit, but now I'm engaging a lot more. Even earlier today, I'm a part of a squad. Um, it's Black Women Love Tech. And the young woman who founded it in May of 2020, she just went ahead and sent an updated message today to say, hey, I'm still around. I started this back in May. It's been a year and a half since I started my boot camp. I'm now service resurfacing to get some air and I'm doing well. So how are y'all? And that's nice. always nice. I am really focusing on my posts right now to help people that are really focused on transitioning mm -hmm. from a boot camp into their new career. I find that there is a lot of information on how to source a boot camp. There's a lot of information on, you know, what language you need to learn, like you mentioned. And people are human beings. That's a great thing. Human beings are resourceful and they want to help. Like, look at us right now. We're on LinkedIn Live broadcasting ourselves, even though I know broadcast yourself is the model of YouTube, but that's what humans 
beings do, we share information. But what I'm trying to build right now is more information around what happens when you complete a boot camp, when you enter into that job you've been so excited to transition into. What do you do next? And I think the great thing about Career Karma is that people are still having those conversations. Hey, I got my dream job and I'm wondering how I can reach back and help someone else who was where I was six months ago, you know, 12 months ago, 18 months ago. How do I do this and help you do this as well? So I thank you for that, Rebel. Go ahead. Talk to me. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, also, I was going to say, like, can we be honest right now? Like, always like you feel me like when you get your dream job bro like you realize that <laughs> when you get the job sometimes you wake up and you like damn well, this I'm is like a say, nightmare sometimes right I like do the dream of labor <laughs> but- you know what I'm yeah come on now like <laughs> and it's like and we had the realest discussion where it's like and this is what i love like um so part of the community team flew out a couple weeks ago and then uh one of the uh one of the brothers that's in uh, working at you know a very big company that is public that may or may not work in electric vehicles he was talking about <laughs> i don't know how much i can say ever right you know, like, so like he was talking about how like again like he stayed with the founders of ck he's like they literally like he was about to move back he's about to give up on his dream he wasn't doing well in the boot camp and this is right when career karma was coming up and the founders like ruben archer and timor were like no moving with us we got an extra room like we're gonna help you and now no like community is literally what they do and it's yes, what we do as absolutely. a company, like, like it's literally loving on people and helping them build up. But the thing is, like, Young Bull said when he got the dream job, he was struggling, but he had gotten it with another person who had gone to a boot camp, like, also with him. And they yes. would team up after work. They would yes. team up during work. And then they would get through it together because you got to understand this. Everything worth having is difficult. So community isn't just to get you there, but it's to help you get you through that transition. Because when I first got into tech, I, said, I was struggling. And I was doing sales and look, T, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm nice. <laughs> My conversation game is nice. Like, you know, I moved to the suburbs. We kind of get that. We get the gift well. yeah, just a little like, bit. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a <laughs> lovely time here. My code switch game is nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I make career karma. I don't need to do that anymore. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Yo, that's literally what it is. But I think the thing is like having that community that helps you throughout that transition too, like, like you're saying, is so deeply important. And you can build that here. You know what I'm saying? And reminding yourself that it's like, I think when you're around people who are at different levels, it reminds you, it humbles you to let you know how much you have to grow. But it also inspires you to let you know how much you have already grown because you're helping someone else who was where, we, where you are. And you remember during the difficult times, like, man, I'm thankful to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm so happy I'm here right now. I remember when I was in their shoes. Let me help them get here quicker. Absolutely. And we're talking a lot about career karma because my boy Rebel here works there and he is supporting the entire community aspect. But right now, for everyone who is watching this live, and I thank you for tuning in, right now, you're a part of my community. You're a part of my network. I'm a part of your network. And this is where we share. And we are spending more time online than ever before with more and more um, pervasive talk about the metaverse. And I I could go on and on about that and about crypto. I've been an enthusiast for many years, but I'm not gonna go off the deep end. But more and more of us spending time online, it is important to find our community. It's It's important to realize not just about what thought leaders we wanna follow and this ain't, no. I'm, I'm someone that if you jump into my DMs and please do this and you're looking for a new opportunity, I'm going to see what is on my feed and I am going to forward that to you. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to tag you on a post because sometimes the things that happen in life, things come through you mm-hmm. or pass through you for other people, you know, mm-hmm. and that is also a part of community. LinkedIn is a community. It's a large and really powerful platform, but there are pockets where people are finding their people and having interesting conversations like ones we're having right now, setting up groups. Like I administrate at SV Academy alumni group that is almost 400 people strong because like, if we don't take care of we, who will, you know, sharing resources, sharing um, opportunities, sharing learning 
and personal development. Like th these are just things that we have to think about as we progress, as we move forward and we can have these dialogues. And what is great is that, like you said, you're out there in Cali. I'm in Brooklyn and we do the year. <laughs> I got you. And we can collaborate and we can talk yeah. about what, what is both affecting our lives and what we are trying to contribute to and be significant in. So um, I add something super quick. Sorry to. Oh, it's not super quick. Please go ahead. Uh, you... No, no, no. Because I know you're going you're gonna to ask something amazing. You're going to bring up a great topic. But I wanted to kind of um, respond to something you had said where it's all like, if we don't take care of each other, who like who will? Mm -hmm. But what I'll actually really say is if we don't take care of each other, who can? Like if you don't understand my struggle or where I come from or X, Y, and Z, like you don't understand the fact that like, I've never been spoken to about RSUs or about stock options or about equity or about X, Y, and Z. So there's certain conversations like I don't see the value in what you're talking about. Right. But like me, like I came from legit. I was working. We won't get into that another time. But like the thing is, like um, you can tell us they'll come back for part two and part three. You can tell us. Right. Go ahead. But I think like I was like I was working at Kinko's. Right. Like I'm legit moving, moving boxes, making copies. I didn't understand all this equity stuff, but it's like legit my community that put me on that made me realize the value of taking a risk in getting into tech, right? And the ROI, like return on investment has been amazing. But the thing is like, it's not just that other people won't take care of us. They can't take care of us. Like, I'm sorry, like they just don't get us, right? And, and that's like the intersectionality of what it means to be a person in America where it's like, your community isn't just one community. You know what I'm saying? First off, right? Like, so for example, our communities like come together. Someone from your community has already hit me up and been like, hey, yo, let's meet, let's get like a coffee, like virtual coffee. I'm like, oh, for sure. Like, send me the time. Like, let's do this, right? It's that simple. And I will testify, right? I just want to give you props, T, for who you are. Like, you really are that person who will give opportunities to so many other people. And I hope that everyone on here is taking advantage of your kindness. And I hope you get it back tenfold because you are an amazing, not just community builder, but an amazing person, right? Because you go the next step. And, and I just I just really appreciate that about you. So I just want to give you that shout out. So I, I appreciate you saying that. I just I have a mindset that is focused on abundance. I wasn't raised with the scarcity mindset. There isn't just one job that we all have to fight for. There isn't just one home. There isn't just one car. There isn't just one opportunity. I really feel like when things pass through me, there for other people. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Like I have been an early adopter and super user on LinkedIn. I have a network that I'm growing and expanding every single day where it's at the tens of thousands. And I can't, I can't apply to every job. I'm not going to be considered for every job. I'm not qualified for every job. I'm not. So for me, if I know that someone is interested in this, that, and the other, and I see it, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to I'm going to hop in a hiring manager's DMs and say, hey, my boy right here, my lady right here, interested, fabulous, this, any other. I'm going to tag you in a post and I'm going to throw an emoji on it, an alarm and say, apply now, apply now. Like, that's just what is going to happen. And I'd love to see more people do that and understand the abundance that there is in life and take yeah. advantage of that. Yeah. And you brought up another great point. You're replying to me and I'm replying to you. And that's how we're doing what to do and making it do what to do, baby. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned RSUs. And I think I, I think that was a great segue into where I want to go next is that a lot of times people are thinking about their transition. Okay, I got to want to be in tech. I want to do cybersecurity. So I'm going to find a boot camp. I want to do software sales. So I find a boot camp. Mm -hmm. I hustle, grind, struggle through it. And I start a study group, always start study groups, please, people. Um, okay. And I'm doing that. We interview, we get our dream jobs. And what's next? Immediately, what happens next is that you're now getting a job offer. And here you are in a whole new space. And you may not know about RSUs. You don't know about stock options. You yeah. don't even know where to go or where to so source information on your new salary. Is this good? You know, is this 
is this market level? You know, what type of benefits am I getting? Is what is this? And I, it's the tiniest things, you know. And my mom always says that gathering dust builds mountains, and it's very true. It's the tiniest things that you people need to now consider and need help with. Now taking care of their benefits allocations and. When you have those questions, reach out to your community. Reach out, foster community. You don't know what an RSU is? Google is your best friend and your lover and your, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, what's up? No, sorry. Google is your best friend. Check Google out. But also, there was someone in your boot camp or there was an administrator. Ask them, you know, go to, go to Career Karma. Ask, ask someone, write a simple post, say, listen, I just got my first job offer. How do I navigate this? How do I know that when I'm being paid is fair? It's more than I've been paid before, but is it comparable to what someone else is getting, you know? And that's why you need to tap into community, build and foster it because what you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> so just ask. And I'm, I'm really happy that you said that because something that I like to do besides sending, <laughs> thank you, Vincent, <laughs> gathering dust bills mountains. My mama, she's full of parables. Oh, like I, I got a bunch of those. Tune in for part two and three because I got a, a whole bunch more. But I think about um, the resources that I have been able to gather because Google's my best friend as well with levels.fyi, you know, to see like what you should be paid if you're leveling at Amazon or fang companies, you know, going to blind, it's kind of turning into a little bit of cesspool, but blind is a community where you can go and it's anonymous and speak with other people, uh, other people in the tech industry about wh what RSUs they're getting, you know, what compensation, total compensation, you know, and compensation in the tech world is not just your salary, it's the total package that you're getting with salary, with benefits, with stock options, with bonuses. And if you've never, if you've never had to think about that before, then blind is a great place to go write a thread or read a thread. You know, now is the time. So I implore everyone who is listening in, if whether you once again are a career newbie, you're just starting out, you are a seasoned professional. You've been doing what you've been doing 15, 10, 15, let me start, 5, 10, 15, 20 plus years, but now it's time for a change. Or maybe you just want to level up and you just want to upskill, like, or you are someone who's a career changer. These resources are out here for you. Rebel and I and everyone in this chat and people who are not here, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Ask your question. Mm -hmm know um and get answers you don't know what you don't know also be polite when you ask you know don't just hop in my dms and be like listen i'm trying to find a job x y and z what's up i i really would appreciate it hey hope you're having a great day <laughs> you yeah. know or hello i love emoji so send me a waving hand you know send me i love spot can like that brown spot can <laughs> that's me my dad <laughs> the time because he can't do this and he's a hater but moving on you know send me a yeah. spot can send send me a spot can and be like hey what's up and help me help you you know and that's I what think, we do now talk to me yeah yeah i think man so first off yeah i got it i'm so glad vincent wrote that down gathering dust builds mountains because mercy i'm stealing that <laughs> shout out to the moms like i'm like, i was going to come to every part because i'm i'm here but like at the same time, I was all like, oh, I'm stealing all of you. That is so good. Gathering dust in the mountains. What? T, you got to stop. And look, let me tell y'all, this is not a one-off. T always drops just bars on people. And I'm yeah, just I'm a rapper. I'm, de I'm definitely a rapper. Move. Move. You need to. You need to transition. You feel me? We're, we're glad we got you. In wait, 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 wait. It's a love fest right now. But last week, pardon me, last week when I was in a Career Karma live room, <laughs> With Rebel, there was a young man who is from um, Minnesota, and he was really trying to tell us about his struggle and how he's trying to change his life and trying to get into tech, and he's always been focused on computers. Why did my boy Rebel over here say say something about, um, yeah, so, you know, Giannis has transformed 
um, Minnesota oh, wow. with this, that, and the other, and drop bars. And the guy was like, yeah. And I mean, this man, I think his name was Andrew. He lit up. He was, he was really focused on trying to really express how hard he's been working to get into tech and not really seeing the tech industry or anything really tech related in his, in his community. But the minute rebel, you know, gave him an example about transformation and the impact that one person can have. And specifically Giannis on his community, he lit up and he gave him an apples to apples comparison of how that young man can now go ahead and be impactful in his micro community, which is just the blocks surrounding him and the people that he's grown up with yeah. by moving into tech and influencing them. So I'm not the only one out here dropping bars, <laughs> but, I, but I do got, I do got a hot 16 at any given point. Easy, easy. You're not even a hot 16. Like, you no hook, all bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think, like, it's no features. But like, go ahead. No features. You know what I'm saying? It's you and Cole. That's it. Y'all don't need no features. I think, like, the, the realness that, that I love is, and this is what I want to say to the LinkedIn message or to, to messaging people in various communities. It's this is what y'all need to do. And, like, so first off, I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to talking about, like, not knowing. Shout out to, like, Career Karma. Shout out to Shanaz. Um, whom, whom is amazing when I applied to CK, um, was my director. And I think like, like when you're going through the, the, like trying to figure out the offer, like it's hard. And what I love is like, we had a real conversation. Like she took her CK hat off and we got real with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you're, I was about to be in Brooklyn. I had offered another tech startup in Brooklyn. I was trying to figure it out. Cause I'm all like, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, and this is me being having already been in tech, right? So like, shout out to them and shout out to like, again, I just love being here because I can be 100% myself. But I think also the truth is when you're reaching out to people and building community, it's not about what they can give you. Like they know they can give you something. Like it's evident, right? Like that's not the question. It's about like, how much did you care to pay attention and focus on them, right? So for example, my first job interview in tech ever, you feel, dang, I'm gonna keep, Dropping stuff on accident, my bad, T. But like, like the truth is, like, this is what I'll say. forward to another time. I hit up this VP that I used to work with at this company. Me and me and Young Bull only had like two or three interactions. Like, Wody didn't even know me, right? OG in tech, been in it for like from the first tech bubble, and I hit him up, and like, I remember I'm like, oh, Bo has a family. Bo cares about this. Bo cares about that. I said, hey, how you doing, man? Hope your family's staying safe through all this pandemic. Da, 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 da. And the first like ninety percent of my reach out was about him. And then the last part was like, would love to just catch 15 minutes of your time, 10 minutes of your time, right? Never asking for 30. I took an hour because our conversation got vibing, right? The conversation got vibing. Can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the thing is like, when you're reaching out to people, customize it to them, like care about them. And if you care about people, I promise you that will come back. That's why it's career karma. You hear me? What you put out there in the world, is going to come back to you. Like, and I genuinely mean that like care about others when you're reaching out in community, be as much help as you can, right? Because someone's always watching that. And I promise you, like, if T asked me something, T already knows. Like we were talking about something. I was like, oh, home, like my homegirl got all these opportunities. And she was like, oh, can you send it to me? Can you send me the person? I'm like, yeah, here you go. Because I can already tell the person you are. And I appreciate what you do for others. So I'm gonna look out for you. That's a natural, I think. That's just how people work. So when you reach out to people, like scour their LinkedIn, like I memorized that. Right. And I asked them like unique questions and people are like, oh, dang, like that's interesting. That's insightful for the first. Like if it's a 15 minute conversation, 10 minutes is about them and how they got there. Everyone loves to talk about themselves. Look at me right now. I'm talking about myself. And like, he you know, in. That's how serious he was. He was like, yeah, I scoured that. Let me pull back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For real. I, had to, I saw myself. I was like, oh, that's too close. Hold up. They're going to they gonna see my skin ain't that popping. <laughs> but I, <Stop> think, that. <laughs> I think though, like that's the truth where it's like, you really got to like love on people. And I promise you, they're going to they gonna end up loving on you back. And if they don't, it's whatever. It's on to the next. Like this VP has literally given me hours of hours of his time for no reason at all. Free game. No reason. Free game. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I think, and T, correct me if I'm wrong. The majority of people in tech, like they look scary. They look unapproachable. But like 80% of them, they soft. They're willing to help other people. Like this is your time, right? People are inside their houses still, so they're bored. 
They're like, y'all want to connect with somebody else. Like, they don't like the people that are around them. Like, they want to be I'm, with the people. I'm not bored, but, you know, I just want to put that out there. I do have, I do have another bar for you. Anytime I think about community, I think about contribution. And I mm. think that is what is synonymous. And that is what we're talking about right now, is that what are you contributing to the overall conversation? I like alliteration. So I'm about community, contribution, conversation. What are you contributing? How are you, like, there are people in the chat right now that is saying, you know, um, TNS or Thursday Night Sales is an awesome community. And that is another community um, aspect specific to software sales or tech sales. TNS is a great community, you know, so you should share those things. And it's what contribution are you making to the conversation when you reach out to people? What are you trying to contribute? Like when people reach out to me or when I reach out to them, I'm saying that I'm willing to help you open this door. I don't need anything immediately, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm open and available and accessible to help us all move forward because that's what, that's what it is. We're all linking hands. We're linking arms and we're moving each other forward. And that goes back to having a mindset that is of abundance. There is more than enough for everyone. I promise you more than enough for everyone is just about you remembering what you're contributing and making it simpler for someone else to make their contribution like a blockchain. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking about the links oh. and I'm thinking about crypto and I'm, I'm not going to go there. I promise y'all but we can talk about it with that today. Go ahead. Talk to me. Yeah. yeah. No, I just wanted to talk about like super quick. We're not going go super deep into it, but it's like, I think like if we're wondering what the power of community is, it's like look at NFTs, look at crypto. Like it's legit a hundred percent like, like commoditizing community. It's the commoditizing of community but this time the switch is the community is the one getting the return, right? And yes. that's the change. And if we're also if we be realty, if yeah. we really want to be real, like, I don't know how honest we want to be. You feel me? Because like at the end of the day, like I am an African immigrant in America, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also black and like I'm looking, the biggest export from America is legit the growth and the culture of the black community. There's not a bigger export in American culture. Like you feel me? It's the foundation of a lot of what goes on in the world and what people see cool and what companies and corporations monetize. So like community has always been that thing, but now we're getting into an era where you can profit from it, right? Yeah. And that's just not in crypto, but it's like in opportunities and it's jobs because look, being in tech, what I've realized, you know how much job offers I got once I was in tech, just from knowing people, like startups that are like two or three people, like, yo, Rebel, come through, do this here or come through here, come through there. like. Getting in opens so many doors for you, but you got to like open these doors of community, whether it's like Thursday night sales, there's a, a black customer success group, right? Which mm -hmm. I used to be in customer success. I love customer success, right? Like, or partnerships. Did you know 1% of it is black? I didn't know that. So when I left customer success, it like completely dropped, right? Like, I don't know what, what it was like. Focus. <laughs> Focus. But I think like the truth is like, there's so many communities out there that are tailored to so many different parts of what's needed. It's like, if you look for them, the opportunity is there for you to capitalize on. And again, if you don't believe it, there's NFT selling for millions and millions of dollars. And all that is, is a dollar sign behind community. That's yes. literally, because it, it don't mean nothing. Very true. Uh, we could get into DAOs and I might get into that at some, other, at some other time. And a DAO is literally commoditizing community where the creator is are the ones that are, all right, let me stop right now. Let me, let me pause because I, I love it. All I want to really say is that I'm so happy that everyone who is on this chat right now and anyone who is not and may watch it later on, I'm thankful that you are taking advantage of what community can be for you. And it's, it's respective and objective to everyone. For me, community is making sure that I help, I I help contribute to the conversation of what happens after you complete a boot camp. I'm really focused on that. Like that as a three-time boot camp <laughs> participant, I think that there's been such growth in what boot camps can do in terms of allowing people to transition from one field into another field and mo more specifically into the tech industry. But it's just like what happens after that. So that's what I'm focused on building community around. And that's what you will see on my LinkedIn page and on my posts on Career Karma. But for you, everyone that's here, 
What are you focused on? I don't use the word passionate. What are you focused on? What conversations are you trying to start that you would want to build a community around? Where do you see yourself making a contribution? Is it to people that are doing customer success, career professionals? Is it to software sales? Is it to career coaching? Because it's someone that I'm seeing in the chat that I know is focusing more on coaching. You know, it's wherever you see yourself making that contribution and building a community of people that is interested in what you have to say and what you want to share and the resources that you're providing. And then just do that. Contribute. And as much as you contribute is as much as other people contribute. And that's really what community is about, is about contribution, having the conversation, you know, consistency. Let me stop because, you know, I like alliteration. <laughs> you are taking us to church, you feel me? That's what you're doing. Like, come on. My new album is coming. Let me stop. My mix I'm, I'm popping the NFT version of it right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I want us to stay on time because I'm so grateful for your time, Rebella, and for everyone tuning in. So is there anything that you want to go ahead and say as we wrap up? And then um, I want to, as we wrap up, I also want to look into the chat and reach out to some people and their, um, some of the questions and concerns that they're putting in there. So I'm going to let Rebel wrap up and then we're going to go and dive into our chat. Yeah, um, since our focus right now is community, what I'll say is community is what we naturally do as people. Absolutely. Like, it's already a natural thing. But the beautiful part is this. Usually community is, I guess, like taken over by people like myself or like T, who are maybe a little extroverted, a little bit more loud, you feel me, like used to that. But the truth is the beautiful part about like now and the Internet is community is truly for everybody. Whether you like discussion posts, whether you like live events, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, come through to CK live events. We have a good time. Um, or or whether it's like video format or other things like that. Like there is a space for you in community and there is a community for you. So all I want you to do is just reach out. And if you don't want to say anything, that's okay. Just be there because that's half of the battle most of the time. I know for me, I just had to be in community for a very long time before I participated and it kind of like took me forward. So that's what I'll say. We're excited to have you in every community. If a community doesn't have you, or you don't think they will come over to us. Cause we got you. You feel me? Come to T, come to myself, jump on the LinkedIn. Some people I think already reached out. So super excited to talk with y'all. Thank you, Rebel. And really quickly, what I was just thinking about is um, from Black Panther, like, um, it was that it was that line with Killmonger where they were saying like anyone who is rejected from a community um, will burn it down to feel its warmth. Like you, you'll burn down the villa. Oh, okay, let me stop. But I'm just simply saying, you make your contribution however you want to make it, and even just the first step, like he mentioned, is just showing up. Like sometimes I just like to sit into things. Uh, last week I just jumped on because I want to hear Rebel talk his stuff and also his colleague Journey and hear where people were in their journey. And so, sorry, his colleague's <laughs> name is Journey. And I just happened to remix that bar and talk about other people's journeys. But he made me come up on stage. I just wanted to listen yeah. in while I was doing my work because it's audio. And he made me come up there and start talking. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. But I, I was thankful that um, when he asked me to come up, he asked me a very pointed question. And I was able to share with those um, members that were in the chat at the time. So. Whether you're just a fly on the virtual wall or not, or you are speaking, everyone has a contribution. Everyone yeah. has a perspective to add to the conversation, and it is all valid. So let's pop into um, these chats um, and see. I think Catherine, <clears throat> well, Catherine asked about networking communities that people are plugged into, and Vincent was generous enough to talk about TNS Thursday night sales. And if we're talking about tech sales right now, there are great communities like S4TC, which also stands for Sales for the Culture. And um, last weekend, I believe, I went to their cookout and they had a virtual cookout, which is really great. Sales for the Culture is a group specific to um, sales professionals that are Black or African American. So they have a group there. There's also Women in Revenue that I'm a part of, this Sisters in Sales. There is TNS, as been mentioned, this SDR Ready, SDR Nation. There is an abundance 
abundance of community. So if you want to like drill down on specific subjects or subject matters like me, specific to upskillers and reskillers, start your own, start your <laughs> own. There's, there's never enough. Start your own, build your own. And I just want to thank you before we sign out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will go ahead and um, upload the next event for our part two talk in the series about community. We have some very pointed questions and things that we're going to talk about. So please join us again. It will be next Tuesday, November 30th at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 2.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And happy holidays to those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving or just celebrate time off of work and <laughs> closing your computer yeah. and spending it with your family members. Please continue to be safe, stay healthy, and we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Rebel, anything you want to say? Yeah, yo, it was a pleasure to spend time with you. It's a pleasure to build community and hopefully we see y'all the next time. But other than that, we'll be back in Live and Living Color next Tuesday. You feel me? Bye, y'all. That's it. See y'all.